good horsemanship. Um, I hope you can hear this. Uh, this is to add on to what I already previously posted today. And I was trying to actually write an article about this. Uh, but, you know, when we, t when we work with our horses, a lot, we always talk about peace and softness and quiet because that's what we enjoy on the trail. You know, that communication, um, that calmness that we carry together with our horses. And so, I, you know, we always talk about peace and how to get there. But I also, today, I tried to write this article, but I really, um, I think a video was better. I don't write that well. Um, so I hope this helps. But I want to talk a little bit today about peace robbers. You know, what takes away from the peace that we choose to be with our horses? And, you know, and there's four kind of things that I want to talk about um, that I just want you to think about when you're working with your horse. Kind of to keep in mind that these are the things that have a tendency to block us from that communication with our horse. And one of the first things is hurry. You know, and I find this in my everyday life too, is that's a great way to get rid of peace is always be in a hurry. You know, being, you know, having to hurry for things. And when I talk about that with horses and training is it can be multiple different things. Hurry can mean I'm in a hurry to get a move, so I want to do it right now and quick as I can. And that can cause tension, not peace. You know, the other thing is I'm in a hurry to get done with the ride because I have this list of things to do, you know. And that's some things that can rob us of our peace with our horses, you know, when we're working with them. Don't be in a hurry, you know. As soon as you get in that hurry, that gets rid of that peace, that gets rid of that communication, you know, one of the things, a quick tip about that, whenever I'm working with um, a horse in training, especially, it is amazing. And it's kind of the thought, you know, it's not always necessarily doing anything. It's the thought. It's when I am working with a horse and we're having problems and I'm like, take a deep breath. And I'm like, I'm just going to, this is all we're going to work on today. And it might take forever. I might not get to that next horse. I might be staying here later, but I'm just, you know, oh, well. This is where my horse is at. This is what I need to do. I'm just going to take the time. And it's so cool how quickly all of a sudden the horse goes, oh, and it just happens. It's a more of a mindset. The second thing is noise. Now, when I'm talking about training, when I talk about noise is the noise of all of the aids, you know, just being so erratic, you know. When you see somebody talking to you and they're really doing a lot of movement, that's noise. How much do you start to go, oh, my gosh. You know, well, think about that going into your mouth. If it's your hands being so noisy or your legs being so noisy that now they don't know what to listen to. So they're like, I don't, you know, then they, that, that piece has gone away. Right, buddy. Uh, that piece has gone away from that communication. There's so much noise that they don't know. You know, there's not a calm, it's not that piece. The third thing, and this goes more into, before you even get to the arena, is input. And when I say that, we have a, you know, there's the there's a great thing called the internet, and there's a bad thing called the internet. You know, there's so many good trainers out there that are giving great, and we look for that. We look for that input of how to do, you know, one of the biggest things I can just think of, how does trailer loading? You know, there's a million different, you go on YouTube and you hit difficulties trailer loading, all the videos coming up. You know, most of them are fairly similar, but then there's some that are, you know, kind of out there. You know, there's so much input, we lose peace. We lose like, okay, I don't know what to listen to. And I'm sure you guys have done this. You know, if you're you're looking on the internet and you see this trainer and you're looking, you know, getting these videos. Okay, this trainer says this, this trainer, and then it's, it's kind of like, oh my gosh, you know, you know, then then you don't want to do anything because the peace has gone away. You know, when I'm thinking of input, when I'm thinking of doing this with horses, is um, cause I, I'm not one, I, you know, if you've ever been to a clinic or you've been here in class, I'm like, oh, great. You're lis listening to another trainer. Oh, maybe they say it a little different way. I never say just follow our way. I say, follow our philosophy. Our philosophy is done by many other trainers, you know, and maybe they'll say something a little bit different, but if they're kind of off the wall, you know, and you're like, well, I'll just try it. You know, that's when the horses get out of peace with us. Cause that's kind of confusion. You know, stick with that same philosophy. Try not to put too much input, too many opinions on what you're trying to do because that just doesn't create peace. And last thing is, I think of is clutter. Now, that can mean anything from clutter in the arena 
can mean anything from clutter in your brain. You know, when you're working with your horse to keep that peace, to, I try to think of clutter more as, you know, focus in my mind. You know, what am I thinking? Am I thinking of just that right hind foot stepping under or that right shoulder stepping over, you know, or lengthening that outside, you know, that nice, beautiful stretch, you know, that's all I'm thinking. When I start thinking of, all right, I want that outside stretch. Oh, wait, I got to go get milk today. I got to pick up my kids at four. I got to, you know, this, that's clutter. That's clutter in your brain, you know. So really try to declutter when you're with your horse. That helps also create peace. Again, I hope this kind of helps. I'm trying to keep this kind of short so I, you know, I don't want to make these too long. Uh, but I just wanted to kind of get you guys thinking about that. There, you know, what's robbing? your peace between you and your horse. You know, not necessarily what to do, but what is robbing, you know, that relationship? I think this guy's in a peaceful state. Uh, <laughs> and I kind of chose this horse. You might see him on some later videos. This horse is really cool. He's a lot of fun. Um, and what's really, he's not at peace with himself, even in the field. And so that's what we're trying to create for him in a life. life. You know, not only you know, when I'm working with him, be, you know, it's okay. Life is okay, but also in the field. So I kind of was like, I'm, you know, I need a horse to kind of stand with. I kind of want a horse to stand with. So, um, I thought this horse would be good. Uh, but I hope this helps you guys. I hope, you know, this makes a little more sense in person. Again, I tried to write an article on it, but I still might post it. I have something written up. So that way you can kind of, for those of you who more or less do better reading it. Um, but, I hope this helps and you guys have a good weekend. I'll talk to you later.